So we finally floated the Owyhee River in Southeast Oregon. The trip started with some planning meetings and an elaborate scheme to figure out the meals. And then we borrowed Dory and Eric's trailer and put Uta and Robin's raft on top of ours. And then we got all loaded up and ready to go. Contrary to our car's range projection, a tank of gas did not get us all the way to the put-in. Towing that much weight, we got a lot less miles to the gallon. After two closed small town gas stations, we finally arrived at one in Riley on fumes. Uta and Robin weren't far behind. Well, we made it to put in. It rained through the night. Dirk and his niece Luca, visiting from Germany, arrived the next day. We knew the forecast called for wind on the first day. And it's raining now. Yeah. Woo. It gusted probably in the 40s all day long. It took us six hours to do nine miles, mostly double teaming on the oars. We were exhausted by the time we reached Upper Fletcher, a mediocre camp. Day two was much nicer. We made 15 miles easily, passing some cool hot springs at Ryegrass. No, Captain. Woohoo! Nicely done. There's a rock on the right. Okay, so yeah, Silka tried to warn me. But in my defense, the river was pushing really hard right. Yeah, we're not gonna No, but there's a rock before there's the a rock. Big... Yeah, big rock and then a little rock right next to it. Plus, she warns me of every piddly little rock in the river. So not true. See it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, going, I'm going way left of that. Okay, good. Plus, by the time I saw that hole, I was already on the right side of it, making it worse. which resulted in bending and cracking an oar. Yeah, I did not make that move. Nicely done. Oh my gosh, Dirk. Oh, I think Dirk, the Dirk, 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 Dirk. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Oh my God. Wow.
ash means it came out of the ground into the air. Well, it came through a volcano and the, the fine dust settled down. And made those layers. Even the Mazama ash you find, you know, all, even St. Helens ash you find all over the place. And we ultimately arrived at our destination, Pruitt's Castle. What are you? crowd is a very we have something I don't know we have some extra plastic bags I mean I have oh a, yeah like yeah this. and now I just realized yesterday that this is red yeah, <laughs> because I came very close to it. So far. So far. So far. Mm -hmm. Probably more. Looks like it's the beer boat that this one person. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wow, these are like egg muffins? Egg muffins, pre-cooked with veggies, on a warm <sighs> buttered roll, avocado and chipotle sauce. <laughs> nice. But you know, <laughs> Day four was our longest yet, 20 miles. What's the name of this rapid again? Whistling Bird. Can you see it yet? You definitely don't want to get pushed where all the water is going into that cave on river right, but you can't start pulling left until you get past some exposed rocks.
Burke has a nice run there. All right. All right. I kept catching rocks. Did you? Yeah, a couple of them. I was like, what? in the middle of the river. I think it's her. Oh wow, you little a slot. Oh yeah. Right, here we are at what camp? Upper Upper Greeley. Upper Greeley, the most beautiful, picturesque, idyllic camp. This is our kitchen. This is our happy hour. Luca, what do you think? Hey, it's great. Isn't I'm it? The mean chef. <laughs> the mean chef. <laughs> Dirk. It doesn't get any better than this. No, it doesn't, does it? Check out this spread. Whew. Robin. It's gonna buoy your spirits being here. It's paradise. <laughs> Uta. 13 out of 10. 13? Wow, that's good. And? 15 out of 10. Wow, I didn't know that was possible. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't get in the way. Big day today. An easy six miles on the last day to take out. Over the five day trip, the flow dropped slightly from 2200 to 1870. Good to have some help. But the trip wasn't over. The Birch Creek Takeout is a two hour drive through creeks and the up steep, rough terrain. <laughs> Zooming in on the map view of photos gives you a cool visual representation of where everything happened along the river. And then of course when you get home, the trip still isn't over because you have the gear explosion of the unpack and then you have to dry everything out and clean it and get ready for the next trip. 